Hey, what's up, everybody? Bob Heilig here, your virtual upline. Welcome back to the show. Another episode of Biz Tip Friday, where today I will be sharing with you my top five business productivity apps, the ones that I absolutely can never live without that help me do what I do. So I can't wait to share these with you. I promise you, these are ones, many of them you've never heard of, but you absolutely need in your business today. So hey, if you're watching here on YouTube, welcome to the channel. If you get any value out of the video today, do me a favor, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. So I get asked this question quite a bit. People say, Bob, what services, what apps do you use to run your business? You know, whether it's keeping up with ideas for content on social media, which can become a little overwhelming at times, or just managing your prospect flow. How do you keep track of your contact list of following back up with people or just productivity in general, scheduling, managing your time? You know, these are really pressing questions. And There are problems that we need to learn how to solve. Now, I'm probably like you. I'll try almost anything. I mean, I signed up for so many services. I've downloaded so many apps that I either just never used or they just didn't really work for me for whatever reason. But here's the thing. Through a lot of trial and error, I found a handful of apps that my business and my life literally depend upon. And I'm going to share them with you today. And I promise some of these you may have heard of before, but others are going to be so critical to you taking that next step in your business and really standing out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first app that I want to share with you is actually called Trello. Now, Trello is not a new one, and many of you may have heard it before. Maybe you've even tried to use it in the past. But if you're not familiar, Trello is essentially a project management platform. It's a free, you can use it for free, which I love. They have a desktop app, and they also have a mobile app. So they sync up, you can use them on your desktop or on your phone. But I use Trello for content planning. So Trello is the place where I keep all of my ideas for all of the content for everything that I do. So they allow you to set up what they call different boards and you can create these different categories. So for some of the examples that we use is I'll have a category set up for Instagram TV, for YouTube, for our blog posts, for podcasts, right? For our LinkedIn channel. We'll have all these different categories set up and anytime an idea strikes me, right? I've got a separate column for just content ideas. I'll write a quick little note to myself with the thoughts I have around that topic. So if I think it would be a great podcast episode, I can just drag it over into the podcast column. And here's the thing. Anytime I'm stressed out, like thinking about what can I talk about, what can I post about on social media, I just pull up Trello and I've literally at any point in time, I've got dozens and dozens of different ideas that I've accumulated over time. So I love Trello for just managing and keeping track of your content. But you can also use it for project management and workflows. So let's say that you're gonna, you know, you wanna start a YouTube channel and you wanna start filming videos for YouTube. Well, as you know already, there are a lot of steps that need to happen between you just filming a video and posting it to YouTube, right? There's content preparation, there's filming, there's post-production, there's optimizing the video for your YouTube channel. There's all these different things that have these different steps. Maybe it's posting to social media, whatever that might be, but you could use Trello where you could create columns for each one of your steps and you can move your, you know, that video to these different stages in your project. So at any point in time, you can see exactly where you are in the stage of, of completing that particular project. So when we talk about Trello, I highly recommend using it for your content planning. Whether you wanna organize, you know, your Instagram content, your Facebook content by channel, or here's what we teach our students. We teach to organize your content by what we call storyline. So storylines are three separate distinct areas that you create content that you can start accumulating ideas for. So maybe one of your storylines is family. 
because that's important to you. So you're creating content around family, and anytime you think of an idea, you jot it down. Maybe one of them is related to your products. Maybe you're in a fitness company, so you have a health product column. And then maybe you just have a passion for uh, working out or you know playing golf or something weird like that, but you've got these distinct categories that you can start brainstorming content ideas and sharing more parts of your life. That would be really great. Here's another thing. You could use Trello for prospecting. You could create, every time you create an entry, they call it a card. You could create a card for every single prospect you have. And let's say that you had five different steps in your kind of funnel or your prospecting system. You could move people through each one of the steps so you could visually see where they are in the prospecting process from the initial uh, connection to the close. So that might be a great way to use it. And then finally, project management. You know, if you have ever considered hiring a virtual assistant, you could hire a VA to be able to manage your project workflows of taking a piece of content that you create and then just executing a predetermined plan of how you want your content to get posted and where. So Trello, I absolutely love, that's the first app. The second app I wanna share with you is called Slack. So Slack is a team communication platform. Think of Slack as replacing email. I don't know about you, but my email inbox is like gets crazy. Like I get stressed out sometimes just logging into my email, especially when I have team members and prospects and people sending me emails. It's so easy for an email to get lost in the shuffle. And then you're back and forth and you know, it's hard to, you gotta scroll down to see all the different back and forth. It's just, it just becomes overwhelming. With Slack, it can completely replace that. So Slack, you can set up a free account. They have a mobile app and a desktop app. But I love it because you can consolidate all your communication in one place. So in our company, I have four full-time team members. All of our team communication is in Slack. We don't even communicate by email anymore. You can set up what are called channels. So we set up channels for different things that we do, right? We have a channel for our Legacy Leadership Academy. So anytime we have an issue with that particular product, we have all the communication in that place. We have another channel for my higher level program. We have channels for YouTube, channels for advertising, channels for uh, graphic design. You could set up by category or topic these different communication places. You could also use it for project management. You can consolidate, let's say you were creating a website or creating a new onboarding system and there was a half dozen people on your team that were you were getting their feedback for that. You could set up a channel in Slack and all the communication could happen in that one place. Here's the thing, it's not, it's not inundating your inbox. It's a separate app that you can go to and you can check any time you want. So how would I use it if I were you? Well, the first thing you could consider is what if you took a half dozen of your best leaders, your top people, and you set up a Slack channel where you could communicate back and forth with one another, and it happened inside of that one place? What if you used it for challenges, like daily accountability for customers, prospects, or team members, right? Consolidating everything in that one place? Um, what if you used it for new recruits? What if you set up a channel for where anyone on your team could add a new recruit in their first 30 days to a predetermined series of support messages that you gave them, right? There's any number of different ways, but we love Slack. It has completely revolutionized our team communication. Um, so definitely you wanna check that out. Here's the third app. I'm really excited to share this one with you. So it's called Community. Community is a brand new text messaging platform. So I bet you've noticed this. A lot of the big influencers will say, hey, text me at this number. Here's my number. They'll put it in their, in their social media bios. I have mine in mine. What it is, is it's a community number most of the time. And the way that it works is this is a paid service, but you can sign up and you can get a phone number that is unique to you. And you can give it out on social media or to anybody. And what happens is when they text that number, it will ask 
ask them to basically opt in to getting communication from you. Now, here's the thing. It's not like a text message on your phone where you're actually like it's invasive and you're getting text messages all the time. It's all housed inside of the app, which you can also manage on a desktop if you just log into your to your site. But I love this because here's the thing is it's such a more intimate form of communication. So I could literally go into community and I could send you a text message and I am in your phone saved as a contact so that you see my name and face pop up and you literally are getting a message directly for me. Look, in the world of social media that we live in today, it's so hard to get people's attention, right? There's so much white noise out there. Like this is the epitome of one-to-one building direct relationships with your customers and your prospects. But here's the thing you can do it in a totally scalable way. I'll share with you one of the ways that we've used it. So we just completed a, a free challenge that we did. It was called the Love Serve Grow Challenge. And in the past, we've used Facebook Messenger, um, a service called ManyChat for marketing. But here's what I found. Even on Facebook now, there's so much white noise in the inbox, it's so easy for messages to get lost in the shuffle, especially in our space with network marketing. You all know you're managing like 20, 30 messages at the same time. So what we decided to do is use our community platform. So when somebody signed up and they registered, we said, hey, look, here's my number, text me so that I can let you know, I'll notify you when we're going to be going live inside of the challenge group. So I said that, but here's the other thing I did. I said, I want you to text me with your questions. So I was literally, as people were going through the challenge, I was able to communicate directly with them, figure out what people were struggling with, be able to help guide them through the process. And then at the end of the challenge, we sold one of our programs and I was literally answering people's questions, getting people to make the buying decision right there. And and listen, yes, during that five or six day period, it was a little crazy, but I didn't let it run my life. I had certain blocks of time, a couple of times a day, where I would get into the platform and I would just respond to messages. You can send out group texts, right? So you can do one person or you can do a bunch of people. So how would I use this? Well, here's a great idea. You could give it out on your Facebook Lives or your Instagram Lives or your stories. Like let's say you were in a makeup company or a skincare company and you wanted to give out free beauty tips and you said, hey, look, text me to this number, join you know my community and I'll send you out daily tips for beauty and fashion, something like that. So people are subscribing to just get little tip bits of inspiration. Maybe once a week, you just give them a quick little inspirational message. But here's the thing, it's so intimate because you're in my inbox of my text messages. Look, text messages are open so much more frequently. Here's another way to do it. What if you used it for your team communication? Look, people say, Bob, I can't get my team to show up for training calls. I can't get them to come to meetings. Well, here's what you do. Have your team all subscribe, and every time there's a call, you can text them right when the training call's starting. Say, hey, the training call is starting. Here's the link or special announcements or things that you want them to know. Now, this is a paid service, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely worth the investment. So definitely check that out. The next service, which I absolutely love, is called Bomb Bomb, Bomb Bomb. Now Bomb Bomb is a video email marketing platform. So once again, here's the thing. When I think of community and Bomb Bomb, I think of ways, how can we stand out from everybody else that's out there, just the white noise on social media, the attraction marketing, right? Like the mass marketing. How can we be different by creating more one-on-one intimate connections with our team and our followers? Well, BombBomb lets you do that. Here's what you can do. They have a mobile app or you can, they have a desktop service as well. I can record, like let's say you were on my team. You just hit a big promotion. I could pick up my phone, record a video of me saying, hey Jill, I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you for getting the big promotion. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Just wanted to send you a quick congratulations. Record a video on my phone. Through the BombBomb app, I could either text it to you or send it to you by email. And I literally pop up a picture of me on video. You press play and it's a a, a special message that I recorded to you. Now, some people will say, Bob, that's not scalable. Well, I got news for you. I got really a valuable advice from an early mentor. He said, Bob, do for one what you you wish you could do for many. 
See, we underestimate the value of just doing something special for someone. And I'm telling you, things like this go a long way. So whether it's sending messages to people on your team, just expressing gratitude and appreciation, or maybe it's sending messages to customers, thanking them for placing orders or, or you know, asking them if there's anything else you could do to help. It's that extra little special touch that makes a big difference. BombBomb, once again, is a paid service, but I highly recommend you check it out. The fifth and the final app, this is one of my all time favorites when it comes to productivity, is called Voxer. Voxer is a walkie talkie voice messaging app. What you basically can do is this, you can set up either individual chats with someone and you can voice message back and forth just like you were talking on a walkie talkie. Now here's where I love, now you can message through Instagram and Facebook, but here's the problem. Those messages get lost very quickly for people and there's time limits. I don't know how many times I've tried to record a Facebook voice message and it gets cut off and I'm like, how much of that do I need to say again, right? With Voxer, there's no limit, but here's the cool thing. You can literally listen to my message as I'm creating it. So it's like real-time voice communication um, happening right inside of the app. Now, here's how I use it. I would use it for coaching and support. If you've got a new person you're coaching, say, hey, listen, download Voxer. We're gonna set up a chat, and anytime you have a question, shoot me a Voxer. If you need a quick answer, you're in the middle of a conversation with a prospect, and I wanna give you that response, we can communicate that way, right? Coaching, accountability, and support. You may wanna use Voxer to set up what are called broadcast communications. So you could set up maybe with a small group of your leaders, a chat where you're talking back and forth and keeping each other encouraged and accountable. Or you can do what are called broadcast messages where I could set up, let's say a message with 50 people that only they can hear from me. So maybe what if you had your team subscribe or you know your active members of your team and every day when you woke up, you just sent them a little Voxer. They heard your voice giving them a little bit of encouragement, maybe a tip of the day, some inspiration. Maybe you do that once per week, but once again, we're looking to be different. They're hearing your voice. It's a different platform that you're connecting with people. And I'm telling you, you know, these are, these are little things, but they make a big difference. And when I think of my business and you know, ways that we wanna try to stand out, this is how we do it, just doing the little things. And, and I know they can do the same thing for you. So those are five, I could probably give you five more, but these are some of the five of the coolest ones and I think the most valuable ones. So, hey, listen, do me a favor. Go ahead, download them, play with them, but I wanna hear from you. Let me know what are your favorite apps. So if you're listening to the podcast, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Let me know what are your top five apps. What are What's one that I didn't say that I need to know about? And if you're watching here on the YouTube channel, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below, let me know what are your five favorite apps and, and maybe we can feature them in a future episode. So with that being said, thanks for being here today, everybody. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's Biz Tip Friday. I'll see you soon on the next episode.